Hey, so did you do Legos when you were younger? Absolutely not. I had a good friend <laughs> that did. He was great at did it. Did you do Legos? I, I just didn't have the ability. I wasn't. I was busy talking and acting and, you know. All doing, that stuff. Yeah. We were doing I, that too. So. I didn't, I just couldn't see the creation yeah. of something that didn't already exist. Because like, it's hard. It's very hard. So obviously, <laughs> Lego lovers love Legos they and they're very good at it. Uh, but the Lego lovers dream, uh, this is uh, a, a big event uh, that they're having big this coming to Louisville this weekend. Uh, coming to Louisville and the annual Brick Universe Lego That's convention. what it's called. That's what I was trying to say. It's a big old name there. It's back, uh, but with a couple of changes to help visitors uh, be safe and healthy. Joining us now with details is organizer uh, Grayson Bites. Uh, thanks so much, Grayson, for joining us. Thank you for having me. Excited to be on. Well, we're, it's great to have you, and congratulations on having the convention back in town this weekend. I know you guys were just probably really excited to have it back. What can people expect? Well, it's been two years since we've been back to Louisville, and we've been bu busy building. All the Lego artists have been busy building new creations. So many new things to see this year. We're excited to be back. Yeah, I'm looking at what's behind you, and they look like well-knitted quilt like yes. it, it looks amazing it's hard to process that those are legos it, people are so creative uh so you mentioned you're back after two years and you're very excited about that obviously what changes have you all made to to make sure people are safe and healthy as we continue this uh covid 19 battle yeah so one of the uh, number of changes we've made with the uh events after covid or during covid is we replaced building zones the interactive sections with more lego displays so it's uh, less things to touch more things to see and it's still going to be an amazing show. We have hundreds and hundreds of Lego creations but built by artists from around the country, even one from England. Um, and there's so many things, different things to see. We encourage everyone to come on out this and, weekend. And uh, Grayson, for families that may be watching, thinking, oh, great, this is something awesome to do for the kids this weekend to kind of get them out of the house. I mean, can you still get tickets and can you purchase Legos there? If you see stuff that you like, are you able to, to purchase it and leave? Yes and yes. So you can still purchase tickets. You know, due to uh, COVID, there's going to be uh, limited crowds. So we do expect to sell out. So buy those tickets online, brickyears.com, as soon as you can. And we have multiple vendors selling anything and everything Lego. Any Lego minifigure you can think of, our Lego set, new Lego, retired Lego, it's all going to be here this weekend. Grayson, I'm, I'm curious. Uh for you to be in this position in this role, I was gonna ask are that you going to ask because that too? I want to know, like how, like, like how much do you really love Legos, and what's your story, like first, like getting involved and being passionate about Legos? Oh, I am obsessed with Lego. You know, I ha I got my first Lego kit maybe when I was three years old, and I actually just never stopped building. Um, I love everything about it: castles, spaceships, skyscrapers, and what's cool about this event is it's all there. You know, we have art like what we have behind me, Star Wars. Uh, anything and everything Lego, it's, it's, it is a Lego lover's paradise. Do you notice, uh, I don't know how many years you've been at this in your specific role, but it sounds like you've got a, a longevity with Legos themselves. Do you find that people who have that level of creativity young use that moving forward in their professions? And I say that because one of my closest friends who was, was big into Legos is now a, uh, an engineer. Oh, wow. Yes, exactly. So. It's all fun and we love Lego for the fun of it, but it's also very important, we think, for kids to build Lego at a young age because we have so many engineers and architects who come to our event and tell us this, Lego's why they do what they do now. So Lego's so important for uh, creativity and learning and our event shows a bit of that. Makes perfect sense. Grayson, thanks you so much. Uh, I love hearing the backstory Thank about you. that. I, I just love it when there's an activity that is teaching people how to do something and, and learning yeah. skills like that that they might not even think of. It's just fun. So, Grayson, thank you again so much for joining us. We'll remind everyone at home that the Lego Convention is tomorrow and Sunday at the Kentucky International Convention Center.